Let's take a look at some of the features and uh, operation of the Argonaut DSV mouthpiece. Uh, first feature to really look at and, and one that's uh, important to most folks is um, when we designed the new DSV we made it to where you could use any type of bite tab or mouthpiece that you find on any other single hose regulator. It interchanges with about 99% of them out there so you can find one that, uh, the, the, you know, that's comfortable for you that uh, uh, as many of you did not care for the uh, original design. You notice that on the DSV, the mouthpiece outlet is angled as opposed to on the original mouthpiece where it was straight across. This, the reason uh, this was important is because there's a lot less leverage when used this way than on the original mouthpiece. The curved mouthpiece is similar. Let me see if I can get it right it up here. But Again, folks did not care for these bite tabs. Some felt they were uncomfortable. Uh, you know, they overall, some people didn't care. Some people found them uncomfortable, and other folks just wanted options. So we built that right into the mouthpiece. So you can slip on, slip off with a zip tie, use the mouthpiece with uh, any tabs that you like. Uh, the second feature was that we, we built into this was the ability for you to shut off the air at the surface. And DSV is short for dive surface valve, which is used by the, been used by the rebreather community forever. But uh, when you're on the surface, it, maybe you're waiting for a ride from the boat, maybe you're doing a surface swim. Uh, if your mouthpiece is higher than your second stage on a double hose, it's going to free flow. And a lot of divers simply just tuck their hose loop under their arm, you know, held it down against their chest. That was fine. But the DSV makes it super easy, and it's a one-handed operation. Right now, the DSV is in the open position, and this is a this is a demo one. You can kind of see in the in the mouthpiece, you can see the, the white piece right there, which tells me it's all the way open. But it's in the open position. To close it, you simply would grab your hose assembly and twist it away from you, like so. If you're familiar with how a motorcycle throttle operates, this one will make perfect sense. You grab a hold of it. Throttle on means it's full open. Closed, airway is closed. When you're diving it, you always want it in the wide open position. There is no in between position for it. It's either fully open or fully closed. Um, another neat feature that Luis built into this is when the mouthpiece is closed, there's a purge right here, or a port. It's really not a purge valve, but it allows you, when this mouthpiece is full of water, it allows you to blow through it and the water will come out here while it's in your mouth, purge the water, open it, go back to breathing. Keeps water out of the mouthpiece. It's a really neat uh, neat feature to have. Integral to it, which I'm going to have to remove the wagon wheels, which are O-ring sealed. Let you see the diverter easier. If you have a double hose regulator with a, a, a strong Venturi like the Argonaut Kraken, or a lot of you are using the new HPR second stage in your uh, DAs, Royals, things like that. Phoenix regulators have been updated. Um, once the Venturi starts flowing in that regulator, much of it is bypassed into the exhaust hose. Luis designed a diverter that helps divert the air directly up to the, towards the diver. You can see a little bit there. And on the other end of the diverter, it's simply marked, and this one, your mouthpiece won't come with the, the diverter that's marked in white, but I've marked this one. But your diverter will have a uh, indentations on the side in a V-shape, and that always goes towards the exhaust because the diverter doesn't work as well when it's uh, uh, put in backwards or whether you've got it facing backwards. So the diverter is definitely directional. Um, if I hold it on the side, you can also see the difference in the open and closed position. Right now, the regulator, uh, the DSV, is at its fully open position. And if I, as I see if I can hold this and rotate it, close. Now it's in the fully closed position. Open. Closed. Like I said, when you're diving it, you want it in the fully open position when you're on the surface. 
even if you're doing a doff and don underneath, you don't want to worry about tucking this up under your cylinders to keep it from free flowing. Take the mouthpiece out of your mouth, rotate it closed, it's good. Um, the mouthpiece itself is actually four pieces. The, uh, the wagon wheels are O-ring sealed and there are two O-rings on either side here and then there's one in the center oval section here and I'll cover disassembly and, and maintenance on it uh, in another video. The screw in the front here simply keeps it from rotating too far forward, too far back and when I, in the other video it's, I'll show you how that the cut on that is linear and is the same on both sides but That'll give you a little better overview of the DSV. Um, one of the things uh, you'll note when you first put your new hose assembly on with this is you may have to rotate your hoses uh, at your regulator a little forward or a little back to get this comfortable in your mouth. But once it's in and you have your hoses adjusted right, you'll find that it's very almost neutrally buoyant. Um, that's not really taking into consideration the, 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 the buoyancy caused by the air in the hoses. And there's hose weights for those, so you can add, subtract hose weights on your hose to get this where it's, you know, the, the, the whole setup is almost neutral in your mouth and you really don't feel any movement or pull on your jaws at all. So I hope that gives you a good overview of the Argonaut DSV mouthpiece. Like I said, um, I'll cover the, you know, repair or really not any repair, just simple maintenance of the, of the regulator or mouthpiece uh, in another video and uh, if you have questions give me an email or visit the vintage double hose website store or message forum and you can read all about it see the internal design drawings and uh, ask questions if you have them thank you